Oh, just had a go with it. Just had a go with a space dildo. It's fucking awesome. Needs more loop though. My name is Matt, welcome back to the shop. <laughs> um, ooh, headphones. Uh, I've been looking for them. Has been looking for them. What's it doing? Oh yeah, my name is Matt, welcome back to the shop and this is a video. I've had this comment quite a few times, either through Facebook directly, through the comments or whatever. And it's, I, I had a quick look on forums. My God, it's everywhere. So let's just do this video and let's get this over and done with. Can you put two-stroke oil into two-stroke fuel that has pre a premix, premix two-stroke fuel into your four-stroke? The answer is yes. Um, don't make a habit of it, that's the, or don't just do it now forever. But not that you're going to, because you're obviously just wasting oil and money. But if you have a jerry can with 10 litres, five, well, five litres, 10 litres, yeah, you can burn that through, don't worry about it too much. But let's explain, you know, all right, Matt, so you just said yes. I've heard other people say no. What, what's the deal? Well, think about it, right? This fuel that, uh, you know, your two-stroke fuel probably has between 30 uh, 30 and 50 to 1 yeah so and that's generally by volume and that means for every 30 to oh, let's just say so, so I don't get my knickers in a twist let's just say it's 40 so we're nicely in the middle of them two numbers that's pr approximately where it is which means that there is uh, oil inside your fuel however this oil is not oil like transmission oil or four stroke oil as you can tell, it's a, wherever the fucking hell I put it, it's a different bloody colour most of the time. And um, it's just not, <laughs> it's not the same thing, it's not the same formulation. This oil is designed to uh, resist the um, solvent effects of water to a certain degree. Um, it is, you know, so it's basically got high stiction and all the rest of it. Um, it is designed to be burned. That's one thing that's majorly important. You know, it is designed to be burned. If you burn your Castrol R, you will notice big whacking great big plumes of generally of black smoke, right? That's just fucking shitloads of soot, carbon, and what have you. When you burn two stroke, you get that bluer kind of smoke, which some of it, the constituents of it are obviously carbon, but you can just instantly see there's a difference. Two-stroke oil has been designed to burn. Yes, it does choke transvestites, lesbians, pandas. Panda transvestite lesbians um, to death. You know, tree uggers, vegans, and carrot tops. It, but um, it is designed to a degree to be able to burn. And it is designed to burn in a cylinder with a spark plug, with spark ignition. Your four-stroke is exactly that. The other thing is, as well, is that... The spark plug in your four-stroke uh, hasn't usually got a heat rating that is similar to the two-stroke that you were normally cooking your oil in. So you can get plug fouling, but it does take a long time for this to take effect. That's why I'm saying if you burn through five litres, you'll probably be fine. If you just do this now continuously, and basically you have two machines and you just share the fuel with premix, which seems a bit bonkers, but if you did that, eventually you would probably get plug fouling on your spark plug and all the rest of it. Um, but, you know, the other thing is as well is, with a two-stroke, you're putting fuel and air into that cylinder every, um, every two strokes, <laughs> every full complete revolution. So, you know, every two strokes and you're putting um, your fuel and air mix in there and oil mix, where with your four-stroke, you're only doing it half the time. So basically, um, the concentration over time isn't the same. If you run both bikes at 5,000 RPM, then there will be half the amount of oil going into your two-stroke and fuel, but it's basically it's not a problem. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, plug fouling would actually take half as long, uh, twice the amount of time if you had the same amount of fuel. Uh, same spark plug rating, sorry. What the fuck am I talking about? Yes, let's just get to the end of this video. It's doing my tree in. Um, it's doing my nut in. So yes, the fact of the matter is, is you can use two-stroke premix in four-stroke. It's not going to do anything nasty. Now, 
If you've got a catalytic converter, it might do something nasty there. I imagine it will do. However, who the fuck is putting two-stroke mix into their R1? <laughs> you know what I mean? You've got to be really desperate to do that. It's not a fuck your cat forever. You know, you will burn off the oil residue that's probably in there. But uh, it will fucking mess up your mix a bit. Injection... I'd imagine it'd still be fine. It's just going to push it through. Um, you know, the, if you look at fuel with premix in and not even when the premix is dissolved in it, it really doesn't look like um, the viscosity of it changes. Maybe Dave knows, but I imagine it's not going to make any difference with your injectors. It's not going to clog up your filters or anything, your strainers. It's fucking oil, for God's sake. However, here's a good thing. Generally, the procedure you do when you use two-stroke is you give your jerry can a shake and then you pour the fuel in to mix the premix in. Don't fucking bother. Just pour the fuel out. The fuel, you know, they, then you've got an even more higher dilution, you know, of um, your oil mixed in there. I hope that makes sense. It's not going to make a difference. Basically, that oil and fuel and air going to go into your cylinder. They are going to combust. It'll oil your cylinder a slight bit better. It'll mix with your two-stroke oil. It's not going to kill each other. We'll do a demo, fuck it, why not? I'll get some four-stroke oil, I'll mix it with some two-stroke oil, we'll put it in an engine and see what happens, but I can't see fucking anything happening. You know, we'll just look at the two at mixing. Fuck it, we'll do it now. Just do it now, let's do it now. Right, so I've got my uh, bottle. Bottle. Where's that two-stroke oil? There we go. Some cheap, shitty two stroke oil for demonstration purposes as you can see it's pretty much a new bottle but it's covered in crap pretty much a new bottle I only took a bit out of this clean the bottle with carb cleaner so there's your two stroke oil sweet and then They've got some cheap, I use this just for, well tools actually, I don't use, but I don't put this in engines, because it's shit. Car lube, god no. Put some of that in there. Looks like it just mixes together. Well that was fucking, I was expecting it, I was hoping for explosions. Oh, now I've got oil everywhere. Right then. So, I've just poured it in. I can see it, I can see where it hasn't mixed, there's like a honey colour on one side. Oil's oil. It's additives you've got to... Is it mixing? What we'll do is we'll mix this up, I'll put a bit of solvent in it. It's actually, oh, it's absorbing. The pressure's dropping, look at that. Oh. Is it mixing? I don't know if it's mixing. The pressure's dropping inside, that's awesome, look at that. What's happening? Well, so we've got we've got a honey coloured oil. Yeah, you can see all the aeration bubbles. Looks like sparkly look. Um, but we'll leave that and we'll see if it separates. I've never actually thought about it. But anyway, we'll leave that up there. That's that. <laughs> That's that. Um, hope that makes sense. I'll see you in a bit.